Hi, Rodney. <laughs> you can yeah, I'll suck your cock anytime you want me to, sweetheart. <laughs> I'll suck it all you night. Keep it down. I please. love Asian men. What? <laughs> 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 I love Rodney. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Donald. <laughs> He's super. He's great. Look at that, that ball's growing in his pants. Good, good dog. What's the board that someone handed you? That's George. mine. George gave it to me. Oh, man, the dog is so hot. baby down by the river, knew she'd have to come up soon for air. Sweet Blossom, come on under the willow. We can have high times if you'll abide. We can discover the wonders of nature rolling in the rushes down by the riverside. <coughs> Thank you so much. I'll be able to feed our dog Sparky tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Every single one of you for staying and watching us. We really, really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. I really mean that. See you at the next show. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my black little heart. You came here for some excitement tonight, and that's just what you're going to get.
bunch of members of the IRA who came of age in the 60s. What? what? Uh, baby boomers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, <Zaya. laughs> To the show. So needless just to say that the air was thick with the atmosphere. So we were waiting in line at the Hilton in Vegas, where Elvis actually played, and this uh, this woman came up and was handing out these this very piece of paper. Elvis on one side, a poem on the other. It was a poem she wrote, and it's called God May He Rest, and I'd like to share it with you. <laughs> Elvis was laid to rest in 1977. He was a Christian, Lord, so we know he went to heaven. Lord, grant him the peace that he so deserves. There's a spot up there I'm sure was reserved. There's so many crude people, Lord, even in his casket. Someone got a lock of hair, so grabbed flowers by the basket. His dad was kind and generous to let the whole world see the little king of rock and roll laid out in Tennessee. <laughs> some people made money on papers, some on souvenirs, but best of all, the ones you loved were the ones with honest tears. There will never be another superstar that could ever take his place. We know he was here on a visit to join the human race. Also, Lord, we are grateful for the time you gave him to us. We know that you are the king of kings and lent the little one for us to trust. <laughs> He's in your army now, Lord, also in your mansion in the air. He was a little country boy, so talented, so fair. He gave away all that he could to let us enjoy life a little more. But someday we'll meet with him along the golden shore. Let us touch your garment, Lord, for these things that you have done. Let Elvis know that we loved him, because we'll be joining him one by one. Yeah. <laughs> Is that so sweet? This poor woman, if she only knew who I had shared this with. <laughs> I wonder if you're lonesome tonight. You know, someone said the world's a stage, and each of us must play a part. Fate had me playing in love with you as my sweetheart. Act one was when we met. You read your lines so cleverly and never missed a cue. Then came act two. You seemed to change. You acted strange. And why, I've never known. Darling, Real <laughs> Never get through this. <laughs> now the stage is there, and I'm standing there with emptiness all around. And if you won't come back to me, then they can just bring the curtain down. Is your heart filled with pain? Shall I come back again? And be Thank you very much. Hush your thy blows for lover by day. It fills the sails of boats that are waiting, waiting to sail your troubles away. It isn't far to hush a by mountain, and your boat waits down by the key. We're going to go here. Okay. Go, go to hell. Title originally from, but not necessarily inspired by, a performance by Jerome. <laughs> I was a little too lean, a little too long in the tooth. I couldn't bite the bullet anymore. Couldn't tighten my belt anymore, so I sold it. And now I use it for a psychic whip. 
to bite your jaundiced backlash leaning on me for too long. Now you have the nerve to act surprised as I buffet you to death and I will be dancing on your grave when you go go to hell. I was a little too lean, a little too long in the tooth, burnt out on soup kitchens, and I didn't buy my figure by copping drugs like you did. I was just too nauseated by all you people who wanted to cop my style to hold my food down, and sick of having my persona judged by garbage like you, who were just fortunate enough to receive my presence. Just copping attitude, I am now the bitch you accused me of being for all those years. Yeah. And don't forget, you helped make me that way. I'm tired of you counting on me to be the one who says that's their karma and moves on. Because yeah. karma has a funny way of coming back in the form of the person you sought to destroy. You're surprised at my nerve, now go, go to hell. I was a little too lean, a little too long in the tooth that day. I attacked you on the streets and smacked that smug expression off your wretched face that you never worked hard enough to earn. I waited long enough because I'm kind of slow to burn, even though you burned me months before when you lowered the admission price to my show, four days before the event, which I canceled because I didn't want to be a draw for your club anymore, and seeing you at my subsequent gigs to rip off my ideas so you could try to cut me out of the scene that I inspired was just too far, and you're lucky you got off so easy because I owe you many more beatings, and you owe me an apology, and you are disowned from the blonde club because everyone knows the blonde leads the blonde. While you're just the bland leading the bland, I danced in these bars before you ever spun a disc in this town. And you'll get your just desserts. I'll be dancing on your grave when you go, go to hell. I was a little too lean, a little too long in the tooth, and too far between checks that day I told the pregnant yuppie, the child you're carrying is the Antichrist. I really did this. The day I spit in the face of the gray-suited older queen and yelled conformist, then kicked the door of the limousine that cut me off at the intersection. Actually, it wasn't just one day. It was, at that point, part of my routine on my downtown rounds as an underpaid walking messenger in the financial district. Of course, I always wondered how I could work in the district of finances when I never seemed to have any. They all had the nerve to act surprised that when the stock markets crash again, I'll be dancing on their graves when they go, go to hell. I was a little too lean, a little too long in the tooth when I threw that bottle at the little straight skate rats on Haight Street. One snicker was in a Hi, Mom. <laughs>